Hey yo, Johnny Mullet here with another video. Today we're going to talk about science. I used to love science class. It was my favorite class in school. We used to do experiments and we used to repeat those experiments over and over again to verify that they are facts. And that's how science works. So for a scientific experiment to become a scientific fact, you have to perform the experiment observe the experiment and then repeat it several times and if all those line up guess what it's a scientific fact and i love science what a great course i'm glad we had science back when i went to school in the 80s i got a pretty good education i can't complain even as a high school dropout imagine that but anyway, science is a very popular word today. A lot of people throwing this word out about the coronavirus and um, the steps you should take to protect yourself and protect others because of science. Well, I am not a scientist. Let me put that out there. I am not a scientist. I am not a medical expert or a doctor of any sort. So let's let's take that and jot it down because this video means nothing nothing at all you know why because i don't have the credentials on my wall stating that i am a scientist or a doctor okay but i'm going to do a scientific experiment i love scientific experiments without scientific experiments science would not exist so what we're going to do is we're going to take an experiment and we are going to repeat it, we're going to observe it, and technically, technically, now I don't have a lab coat, and this is not a lab, okay, hear me out, this is not a lab, I don't have a lab coat, I'm not a scientist, but we're going to do a, a homebrew, homebrew scientific experiment. According to the CDC and um, certain medical professionals, I'm not going to say any names and get into the political game because I'm not a political person. But these certain people say, and not just one person, I'm not single, I'm talking about governors and mayors and, you know, leaders and all kinds of, you know, business owners even stating that, you know, we should follow these certain guidelines about wearing face masks. Now, here I understand if you have a mask on, right? Right now, I can breathe. It's not the best breathing in the world. And if I got glasses on, they're, they're going to fog up. But if I'm going to sneeze right now, <sighs> are you going to sneeze into the mask? No, you're going to achoo, you're going to, come on, seriously, are you going to sneeze into your mask? And if you're really going to sneeze in public, you're going to, especially today, you're going to try to hide it or snuffle it or whatever. So granted, if you have a mask on your face and you sneeze, really, you know, even a big bad, you know, sneeze or a cough, uh, whatever comes out, you know, you're going to get some particles, but most of it's going to stay contained. So you have to agree with that. That is a scientific fact that this will protect splatter, blah, blah, blah. This is why doctors and surgeons wear these type masks. The reason they wear them is when they're doing surgical procedures, they don't want spittle or any kind of bacteria entering that other person. So that's a fact. So we're going to do a scientific fact with a OSHA approved oxygen meter. This is a type of meter that um, a lot of business people, you know, if they're in the labor field where they're working in mines or working in, you know, harsh conditions, this particular meter will set off an alarm and it'll start blinking red if oxygen levels drop below a certain level. Now, there's a good chance YouTube's gonna catch this video and totally wipe me out and delete this video. So if you watched it, 
<laughs> great. I'm glad you've seen it. Because there was a Ohio governor, uh, Governor Vitao, I, guess, I think his name was. He did this very same experiment using his students and using a very similar meter to prove a point or prove a scientific experiment. So if you all like science, hang out. We got a great show for you. Here we go. You ready? Science. Now, this type mask, a lot of people you see at the stores, you know, this is 2020, coronavirus, election infection, whatever you want to call it. People are wearing face masks to follow the guidelines set by people who really can't make laws. Okay, so that's a fact. Governors cannot make laws. They cannot force you to do anything. But anyway, that's a whole different subject. We're not going to go there. So we're going to put this mask on my face. Okay. And I'm going to take this oxygen meter that has these sensors right here. I'll even turn it this way. And I'm going to put it under this mask. Right. So it's, I got air gaps everywhere. It's already beeping. Oxygen levels dropped below safe levels. So some of you may have a bandana or maybe a cloth mask, right? This is a typical cloth mask. This one here was actually issued by a certain oil company. And um, I'm going to put this mask on and we're going to do the same test. Here's the sensors. I'm going to turn it around. I can turn it this way. It don't matter what way. You're going to get the same result if the scientific experiment is correct and there we go it's beeped in going crazy okay what about the n95 mask all right let's make this experiment really really good here we go big old n95 mask you see people wearing these puppies you know these masks here are for when you're grinding and doing body work and these are extreme filter masks. So we're going to do the same test with this map. This is a scientific experiment. So follow along. We're going to take the same meter, stick it up into N9. Uh -huh. Okay, what if I take the, the meter and not talk? I'm not going to talk. I'm going to, I'll even take the most popular mask. Ugh, that messed them all it up. Seriously. The most popular mask. These easy breathing masks. And I'm going to stick it up in here. And I'm not going to talk. Because maybe the talking has something to do with it. And I'll even put it in the other direction. I didn't even get it all the way up in there. So, according to what I've learned with my education and my science class, if you take an experiment and you observe it, you verify it, you repeat it several times, it's a scientific fact. So, what is the scientific fact? Well, the fact is... If you put a facial covering of any kind over your face and you take a OSHA approved meter that um, senses oxygen and you put it underneath, it goes off. Now, I'm not going to you know, lie to you. I can sit here and talk into the meter during the video. I can you know, say hello, 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 and... <sighs> It's not going off. But the minute I take this meter and put it underneath my mask, it starts going off. So, what are we going to take from this experiment? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. This is not a lab. I don't have a lab coat. So, take it for what it's worth. See you next time. Thanks for watching.